The most important thing for this film for me was getting the cast right. It took over two years to cast. Rory, I just wanted to offer you the uh, role of James for six festivals. Hi, my name is Rory Potter. I'm 21 years old. Uh, I grew up in the inner west of Sydney and I played James in six festivals. Rory was the very last uh, audition tape that came through. After hundreds of tapes that I'd seen, I feel like the minute I saw it, within the first six seconds, I knew we had found our James. I'm semi-excited. <laughs> James is a character that is obsessed with music, a bit of a music encyclopedia. He's the one that has the idea to go to as many festivals over the coming months, and he wants his buddies to come along for the ride. Some people might see him as a little bit dorky. <laughs> James is such a dork, bro. <laughs> Even if some people think he's dorky, he's still gonna do it because he's driven. He's also a really just nice, lovely guy. I'm semi-excited. <laughs> I wanted to offer you the role of Summer. Thank you so much, Mac. My name is Yasmin Honeychurch. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Byron Bay, Australia. I'm so sorry I wasted your time. The boy has said that they'd be here for me and they didn't and they just fucked me up. Yasmin's an incredible actress and an amazing singer and she's got this warmth to her that I was looking for. Her personality is very similar to what I had in mind for Summer. Step into my office. Summer is like the mother hen of the trio. Marcy, you in She's always the one that's looking out for her friends and the one that knows how to find a solution for every tricky situation. Tell me you didn't take this shit. Summer didn't have a, that great of a background. Her escape is the music and that's why she leans towards it. My biggest inspiration getting into the role of Summer was actually going back to listening to the artists that I used to listen to when I was first getting into going to music festivals. And it was really nice reliving that and remembering what it felt like. I'm Rasmus King, I'm 17 years old from Byron Bay, Australia, and I play Maxi from Six Festivals. Rasmus was the first one that I casted for the film. He had the look, he had the style, and he had the personality, and I just felt like he was going to give me a really good Maxi. Yeah, right, yeah, thumb He's pretty cheeky, gets in a bit of trouble, but all he wants to do is just hang out with his two best friends, who are pretty much his family. Maxie's dad's in jail, his mum's passed away, so his older brother, Kane, is the one that is his guardian and looks after him. A little fucker almost drowned trying to be a madman. The idea of having real brothers play each other as brothers in the film for me was something you couldn't cheat. I'm Kaius King. I'm currently competing on the World Surf League, looking to get on tour, hopefully soon. We post ourselves jamming music and we love surfing. I think Mac just put that belief in us and we went 100% at it. He progressed the furthest out of everyone from his real personality to his wild character of Kane. Go! Come on! Three shot! Come on! Come on! My name is Guyola Bales. I play Missy Marley. Hello, it's Missy Marley. Have a good night. Peace. Everything that I wanted in Marley, I saw in Lala. Mac literally wrote my life story. Marley is a strong indigenous activist rapper. She has her own issues that she's dealing with behind the scenes that we later find out. She's an outgoing, fun, quirky character, loves representing her mob, loves talking about her struggles, but I think she's still trying to find out who she is. Then sing it like you mean it. I want to feel your pain from the top. Let me feel it this time. Each of the characters in the film have their own problems and trauma that they're dealing with, and they all deal with them differently. There's a lot of truth in this film. People will see so much of themselves. Because it's such a current film about what's going on right now, I could relate to it because I've seen it at festivals as well. No, Give it to me. I didn't bring a cane. To get the actors into that headspace of all the issues that they deal with, it was just a lot of conversations with them. When it came time to be on set, they just brought this maturity, just made for incredible performances. It was really quite a powerful experience to get into the mindset of James. Obviously, I could never really truly know what it is like to kind of go through something as heavy as this. 
it makes me even like a little bit sad doing some scenes, like having Kane put him through all this shit and he can't even go and talk to his parents about it. They share a pretty traumatic bond and past together. But they really lean on each other. I really enjoyed the dynamics between all the actors. I guess the silver lining with all the hurdles that we had meant that we spent more time together. And I think what makes the film so believable is that friendship on screen.